I'm gonna be so late. Pens, paper, binders. Mom, have you seen my science supplies? Science, oh, science supplies, thank you. I cannot believe my little girl is turning 18. My birthday isn't until tomorrow. Can we hold the waterworks until then? Besides, I'm running late and I still need to go stop and get a... Coffee? <gasps> my savior. <laughs> Leo, what a fun surprise. Masala chai? I... I heard it was your favorite. You're buttering me up, but I'll take it. <laughs> <sighs> what is it with everyone? My birthday's not until tomorrow. Ellie, I might not be here. Are you going on some secret trip? <laughs> my transfer credits didn't come through. What? Well, how long do you have? 24 hours. Then they're taking me back to France. But no, 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 they can't. They can. They are, so, yeah. We'll keep it, because you're not going anywhere. We're going to fight this. I'll join a sports team. I'll do every extra credit assignment. You have enough to catch up on. I'll serve detention every day. How's that gonna help? I'll do your filing. Please, just don't put me in the rubber room. Oh, we prefer to call it the remedial room. So it's a no to the filing? Look, I'm trying to give you extra support this term post-suspension. By putting me with the weirdos? Please, Mr. Simpson, I was cyberbullied. Show some leniency. You uttered a death threat. This is leniency. Look. You just have to go twice a day, once in the morning and once for final period. Show me you can handle schoolwork without flying off the handle and you'll be out of here in no time. Sir, I heard kids get stabbed in there. We have metal detectors. I assure you, Maya, no one is getting stabbed in the remedial room. What did I tell you about my sister? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, okay? I won't look at her again, promise. What are you looking at, Blondie? Okay, what about a spa day? Or a limo? Or a spa day inside a limo? <sighs> hey, Al, want to get at least a little excited about your birthday party? I can't think about celebrating when they're sending Leo back to France. You're kidding. His visitor visa is expiring and his student visa got denied. So unless I can prove that latte making is a unique skill, he's getting the boot. This sounds so complicated. Tell me about it. 24 hours and my life is over. I can't lose him. OK, look, it's just till grad. Then apply to Paris schools and live happily ever after. It just seems like an eternity apart, and I don't want to be away from him for one second. Allie, class isn't over. I can't find a way to keep Leo here. I'm spending every last second with him. Allie and Ari, skipping science? <laughs> Who's ready to partay? Do you think he prefers Mr. Hollingsworth or Mr. H? You did hear me say party, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, you and me, glow in the dark mini golf? I can't, man. I still have tons of work to do for my Drew Torres Presents the Degrassi Speaker Series with Mr. Hollingsworth tomorrow. Don't you got a beat for that? Then it wouldn't be called Drew Torres Presents, would it? And besides, I'm kind of trying to avoid Claire. But she kiboshed her. Let's have a live monkeys, a school mascot idea. No, well, actually, yes. That's not the point. There's something else. We kissed. Hilarious. I guess technically she kissed me. Holy crap, you're not joking. It was a total spur of the moment thing after Thanksgiving. Bianca broke up with me. Eli was being weird. Wait, kiss or make out? Uh, I don't know. In between? Is it good? Yeah, I guess. Did you do anything else? No, no, I'm just trying to give her some cool off time. She's probably in love with me. No, she's totally in love with you. Which definitely warrants a talk. You know, you should find out where she stands and just let her down easy. You think? I don't know. <laughs> Ellie. I'm sorry, I just, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Did you come to discuss the future? We should sort things out. No, 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 no scary future talk. Today is for fun, happy thoughts only. No, I just think we should talk about... And we will. But before we do, I'm begging you, please just give me today one last magical day with the man I love. I told my manager I'd train my replacement. 
but it could be the last afternoon we have together for a while. You're right. I'll go talk to him. <sighs> Knowing what skills you bring to the workplace can help you break in. Several useful skills are never... What if we don't have any skills, Miss Growl? Well, you've got one skill, Grace. Interrupting. Ooh, you got growled. <laughs> okay, if you're not gonna listen to me, maybe you'll listen to each other. We're doing character interviews. Why you're here, what you want. Find out what skills you bring to the table. We'll present tomorrow and, twist, we'll present as each other. So everyone partner up. Um, can I just interview myself? <clears throat> Princess, you need a partner, Maya. Ah, but our perpetual latecomer to the rescue. Maya, have you met Zig Novak? Oh, yeah. Me and Maya go way back. Claire. Claire Stir. How are things? Are you here to talk about your intro to Mr. Hollingsworth's speech? Yes, but, uh, but first... Claire, you're, uh... You're a great girl. You're pretty swell yourself. Thanks. But... I don't think this is going to work. The speech? Why not? The gym's booked. No, uh... Us, we, we're... We're not, we're not going to work. What are you doing? Trying to let you down easy. From what? Uh, the kiss. Okay, you were seriously deluded. So you're not in love with me? No, you're not even my type. I mean, you're good looking. Thanks. But pretty shallow. Oh. And the hair gel and the sideburns. What's wrong with my sideburns? Look, I know we kissed Drew but it was a mistake. I love Eli, not you. So now that we cleared that up, can we get to work? Yeah. Okay. We could do this all day. We have. <laughs> we didn't do a single thing on your list. And I wouldn't change a minute of it. <laughs> I'm trying to remember every detail. I want to hold on to this memory forever. You're acting like I'll never see you again. We've had a perfect romance. So I'd like to keep it that way. So what, you want to break up? No, <laughs> I don't want to, but what other choice do we have? We can FaceTime. I can arrange to be in Paris a few weekends of the year. We can make this work. We'll miss one phone call, then two, and we'll start to resent each other. Look, I don't ever want to worry about where you are or or wonder who you're with. I'm so sorry, Annie. I hate this more than you know, but I think it's for the best. Beautiful flower for a beautiful girl. Crying? No. Ali. I miss you. I miss you too. Any chance you called to say you're staying? No, I called to be the first to say happy birthday. Oh, it's not fair. I finally get an epic guy and he gets ripped away. <sighs> We're supposed to get married, have two kids, and save the world curing cancer. Together forever. Together forever. I want that too. So let's do that now. Excuse me? 
Leo, I love you. And I'm 18 now. I can do it today. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Leo Lozo, will you marry me? Happy birthday, Allie! We baked you cupcakes. Uh, okay, well, Claire did. <laughs> They're beautiful. And now I know exactly what I want for my party. It's exclusive. Just me, Leo, and my two best girls. As bridesmaids? You're getting married? What about MIT? Leo can't leave the country. We will figure something out. What do your parents think? They will come around eventually. So they're not gonna be there on your big day? That'll kill your mom. Do you even have a veil? Or flowers? Or a ring? Well, now I feel sufficiently horrible. Thank you, ladies. We're just looking out for you. You're going down a crazy path for a guy. What if it was Eli? Wouldn't you do whatever you could to keep him? Of course. So? So? It's different. You've only been together six months. Yeah, and you'll be divorced in another six. Or less. Hey, I've seen the statistics. <sighs> All we're saying is think about this, please, Allie. I love Leo. I can't lose him. So? So? I guess we should just get to the questions, right? Full name. Brutus. Zignovac. Um, actually, Maya, that's not what I said. This assignment is all about listening, you know. Fine. Brutus, what employable skills do you have? Um, stabbing people in the back. Next question. Um, why are you here in the rubber room? Well, isn't it obvious? Stabbing is hard work. I've got carpal tunnel. Roman healthcare doesn't cover that. Come on, Zig. Just work with me, okay? We'll show Miss Girl we don't belong in here. Well, I'm never getting out of here. Or else the Romans are gonna get me. How's everything going here? Just great. Nervous for the intro? Do you think I'm good looking? Me, personally? No. Do you at least like my sideburns? Okay, this conversation is strained. Dangerous scene of Weirdsville. What's up? Claire said that she'd never go for a guy like me. You want Claire? No, no, but I, I, I want her to want me, but instead she wants Eli. All right, this is what you gotta do. One, rock this event. You can do it. And two? Find yourself a rebound, girl. You know, get that mojo back. Because this isn't the DT I know. Maya, come on, we're going for lunch at Chompy Chicken. Yeah, my house says they have the best wings in town. Uh, okay, well, I'm sure they have other stuff, too. No, it's not that. I love Chompy Chicken. It's just I have so much work to do. Would they, they give you real work in the rubber room? Well, I'd have a lot less if I wasn't partnered with stupid Zig. Zig is in the rubber room? Yeah, just like everyone else in there. He's a huge jerk face. <sighs> which is why I need to kill this presentation and prove to them that I don't belong in there. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, who's, who's Zig? Her Nobody. Ass. Those are different things. He's not my ex. We never dated. Okay, it's complicated because we kissed, but he was dating Tori. We haven't even talked since last year. It's, it's cool. I'm not going to get jealous of some rubber room skid. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm prettier, right? <laughs> of course. And Avi, it's classic schoolyard behavior. He's still in love with you. Tris, you watch too many teen soaps. Now get out of here. Let me finish. Ready to get married? <sighs> oh, no. You're getting cold feet? No. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. That hasn't changed. But to be honest, this isn't exactly how I pictured my big day. No ring, no gown, no friends or family. 
Well, I can't fix a lot of that, but I do have a surprise. <laughs> Ali Bandari, we crossed oceans to find each other. We belong together forever. Will you still marry me? Even if it's not perfect. Garnet, my birthstone. I could not afford a diamond. No, it's perfect. Thank you. Just like you, mademoiselle. Oh, I almost forgot. Ready? Soon to be wife? Ready. Soon to be husband. <laughs> I never have a bad day when I'm giving back to the wonderful people of this great city. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, Degrassi, is that all you got? It's Mr. Hollingsworth, might be our next mayor. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks. Not to butt kiss, sir, but your speech was really inspiring. The crowd loved you. Thanks, Drew. You weren't so bad yourself. Do you want to grab a coffee? I'd love any, any tips a powerful, confident dude like you has to offer. You know what? I admire your moxie. I've been thinking that our campaign could use, um, could use a youth advisor. Yeah, are you interested? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. OK, great, great. Call my assistant, and I want you to set up an interview, OK? Thank you so, so much, sir. OK, thanks, Drew. We just did that. <laughs> Me neither, Madame Lezon. Oh, right back at you, Mr. Bandari. You nope, that sounds too much like my dad. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm kissing my wife. <laughs> so, where to? I have to get back to school. Sadly, classes don't end even when you're married. Then we will hang later. As long as you're good with having my birthday dinner with my parents. <laughs> Perfect. We can share our amazing news together. No, 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 no. My parents can't find out. I thought you said you did not want them at the wedding because they would try and stop us. Yeah, but they can still ground me for life or kick me out. Then you can come live with me. But no. <laughs> Why not? We are husband and wife. I can save up and we can have our own place. I, I can't move out. I'm not ready. And my parents, they cannot find out. That, that would just be a mistake. Like this marriage? No, I didn't say that. But that's what you're thinking, isn't it? That you've just made one big mistake? No. Leo, look, I love you. We're together. Just breathe, okay? Are you ashamed of me? Of us? Is that is that why you won't tell your parents? No, no, no. It just it all happened so fast. I didn't even have time to process. Can you just breathe? Are you trying to counsel me? No, I'm trying to help you. I don't need your help! <laughs> okay, Leo, I know this isn't you. <clears throat> You're next. <sighs> yep, that's your part. All right. Could have at least dressed up. I did. Meet you. I'm Zig. And I'm Maya Matlin. <clears throat> and how did you end up in here? Oh, well, I'm only here because of a silly song. Yep, that's right. I'm just a pretty little princess who's above all of you peasants. Just breathing <laughs> in the same air as you all chokes up my throat. Let's get back on track, Zig. So why are you here, you dark, dangerous, yet impossibly handsome boy? I'm here because some girl broke my heart, and instead of moving on like a normal person, apparently I can't get over it. Burn! <laughs> Zig, 
Zig, where are you going? I'm done with this stupid assignment. What happened? Uh, I was mugged. By who? I don't know. It all just happened so fast. We need a doctor. No, I just want to go upstairs and lay down, please. You must be joking. We need to call the police. We have to find the person who did this to you.